Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. Five more days till Christmas. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Five more days and it's the big day. Ah, you join me on a very, very hot morning. I know you're totally sick of me talking about the weather, but we're going to keep doing it anyway. It is about 11 30 in the morning and the temperature is 38.5 degrees it's hot and it's going to get to about 41 today so we'll see how that goes today i'm going to do a really cool christmas tree um hexy block thing i don't know if you follow me on instagram then you may have seen the picture of me holding up a christmas tree wall hanging at work uh and it's the and it's got like a hexy thing made into a Christmas tree. I'm just going to show you how to uh, make one of those. It's going to be really sort of quick and... Well, I'm hoping that's going to be quick because it's hot. It's really simple, really easy. I'm just going to sort of, yeah, take you through the steps. And it's going to be really cash and low-key and easy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how else to to describe it. It's going to be a really simple tutorial. So what I've done is I've picked out uh, these fabrics. This is going to be my Christmas tree and then this is going to be um, the stump or the, the, yeah, the, the, the stump of the tree and that's going to be my background. I think that's going to look okay. This is just a Lutonega um, craft that quarter roll thing. What I've done here is I've just traced on three four and a half inch hexes of pencil onto the back of some heat and bond or a Liza fix applique of your choice this is what I love to use and now I'm just gonna just roughly cut them out and iron one on each of the green fabrics and then cut them out so I'm gonna do that Just set my iron onto a wool silk setting and turn the steam off. And now I'm going to iron these onto the back of the fabric. So they're all ironed on. I also just put just a little piece of uh, heat and bond to the back of my stump piece. Now I'm just going to just cut them out along the line and just do a really basic rectangle here and then we're ready to uh, pop it onto our fabric. So I've just cut an 11 inch square and I popped everything on and then I thought that it just looked a little bit plain up the top. So I've just cut a smaller hexi. This size is a one and a half inch. It's a one and a half inch hexi and I'm going to pop it up the top for the star. Oh, I think that looks so cute. So I'm just going to now applique these onto the fabric and then I'll show you the next step. So what I've done is I've folded our background fabric in half and then half again and made these lines just here so I can center the hexes. What I've done with the top one is I've put this corner right in the middle and then lining up the top corner with the fold and then the next hexes just go here so they match this corner in the center and then this top corner should match with this fold line and then we do the same on this side so that goes in the corner and then this one should now line up here and then this is now going down the center I'm gonna just tuck this just gently under the hexes just right at the point where it doesn't show like so and this top hexi is just going to go here and again i'm just going to match the corner or the point up with 
the fold there. Yeah. Oh, I think that looks good. Now I'm just going to press it all down. they're all on there now it's a bit of a shame that this fold line in the fabric is showing through but hopefully it should be okay I'm now going to applique these on with a beautiful stitch that I use on my sewing machine it's a triple straight stitch and I'm just going to go around the outside edges of each one of everything just to make sure that the pieces stay on And that's our little tree done. This is the beautiful triple straight stitch that my machine does and I love it. Uh, I did go off the edges a couple of times, but you know, don't tell anyone that. We definitely do this stitch in the same color as the fabric or in a contrasting uh, thread like mine or like a gold metallic thread. But I just stuck to white because I really couldn't bother changing it. I just thought you could leave it plain like this. Or you could actually sew on uh, some little buttons. I've got a jar full of red buttons and I thought, oh, let's just have a look. But, uh, you know, some things like that maybe. Or some Christmas buttons or something. I think that would be really cute. But I'm not going to do that today. It's too hot. My little hexy Christmas tree block tutorial for you today. If you do want to make this block at home, you can also use different sized hexes. They don't have to be as big as this. You can use really small ones or super big ones. Just change the size of your backing fabric. But um, if you do want to make exactly the same one as mine, you will find all of the measurement and cutting and all that sort of jazz down in the description box below. As always, I am now going to go and have some lunch, I think and cool down because it's very very warm i'm sweating it out you really don't need to know that but it's warm and uh i need to cool down oh maybe i should put my glasses on oh my gosh i'm so bright and i need to put my glasses on just put you there for a minute i'm still here see you can still see me as you can hear uh, there is currently a thunderstorm happening, and it's a time of the day that I need to go to work. So you know, it always, it's always the way that it works, isn't it? You need to go to work, and uh, it's at the same time the thunderstorm happens. I am now on my way to work for a night sh shift because we're open extended hours because it's Christmas. The joys of working in retail. Yay! I don't know. I don't know. I shouldn't complain. It's only a four hour shift, so uh, it'll be over before I know it, hopefully. But yeah, let's go and do it. It's just gone past 20 past nine, and I'm home from work. It was a very quiet, non busy night. I think I served maybe five, six people the whole time I was there tonight, so. It was quiet. I did a lot of stock and I just try to keep the place tidy really. I am now going to have dinner and then after dinner uh, we'll do the advent calendar. I'll be back with you in a minute. I'll be back in a mo. I gotta eat. I gotta eat. Oh, so I've had my dinner and now I'm a happy girl. A bit sweaty, a bit hot, a bit humid, but I'm happy. Yeah, we should do a weather check, I think, before we do anything else today was warm it was like 40 i think we got to about 41 or 42 degrees today and then just before i had to go to work there was a huge thunderstorm which did it did cool everything down but then it's just made everything really muggy and humid and just really ugh. so it's sticky at the moment it feels sticky but currently the weather is it's 23 degrees which is 
a lot nicer than what it has been, but it's just really humid and awful. Enough about the weather. Let's do the advent calendar. Oh, did that rhyme? Enough about the weather. Let's do the advent calendar. Ah, uh, no, I don't think it did rhyme. It's all right. It just ignored me. Okay, we are up to day 20. Oh my gosh. There's only five more days till Christmas. I can't believe I'm up to day 20 in Vlogmas. I never ever thought I would actually get to day 20. Like, I cannot, I cannot express how much I am so proud of myself for meeting this goal and for, for doing it every single day. I'm, I'm not going to go more into it because I actually am thinking of doing a video next week after vlogmas is finished i'm going to be ending vlogmas on the 26th of uh december that's the last day that i'm going to be filming for vlogmas because it's my brother's birthday and we're doing lots of fun things oh and while we're on that today i booked our tickets to go see star wars i'm so excited every year i book <clears throat> tickets in gold class for my brother for his birthday so like gold class is when we're in the big leather lounges that recline and you get food and yeah so um i treat him to that i think this is the third or fourth year that i've been doing this for him and he really enjoys it so it's the last three years have all sort of been star wars related so we had the force awakens and then Rogue One, and then this year is The Last Jedi. So, yeah, I'm very excited. I cannot wait to see that film because everyone's saying that it's really, really good. Anyway, I don't know what I've just... I don't know, I don't know how I got to talking about this. Yes, after the 26th, I will be doing a December Favourites, and then I will also be doing a video on what I've learnt from doing Vlogmas. I think it's really important to... Just have a, a sit down and just really just sort of digest and digress about the things that I've learnt about doing uh, vlogmas or vlogging every day in regards to lots of different things. So I am going to be doing a video about that. Then it will be New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. I'm thinking of vlogging New Year's Eve. I am actually working that day, but just what we do in the evening. And then after New Year's, I'm going to New Zealand and... I would really like to vlog that, but we'll see what happens because, yeah, I know that it's it's going to be a holiday that it's going to be really, really enjoyable and it's one that I will want to look back on and say, oh my gosh, how great was that? Plus, I want to, I want to vlog when we go to Hobbiton because I'm so, so excited about going to Hobbiton. Uh, okay, I think I've just answered my question. I will be vlogging when I go to New Zealand, so look forward to that. Right. Let's get back to the advent calendar. We need to do day 20. Okay. Day 20. Let's have a look. It's a little tiny one. I mean, not tiny compared to 21. I wonder what's in there. I reckon it's a thimble. I think 21 has a thimble in it. Amanda prediction. Right, day 20. I've kept you in suspense long enough. It is a magnetic seam guide. We sell these at work. Yay, I know what this one is. It just guides your seam and keeps you to a true true seam. So this magnet bit goes onto the sole plate on your uh, sewing machine next to your foot, and it just helps you with your with your um with your seam. Yay! That's cool. And it's a little smiley face. Thanks, door twenty. I'm so happy with that. I'm so intrigued to know what's in here. Bring on day twenty one. Yay! Yeah. Why you got blurry? Yay! Thanks for joining me again today. I hope you enjoyed the little mini block tutorial this morning. I don't know where I got the idea from. I think it must have been Pinterest. I'm pretty sure I found I saw something like this on Pinterest. I, I think it's quite a cute little idea. It's a it's it's a little bit of an odd shaped Christmas tree. It's plump and round and you know everything that I relate to but I think it's really sweet and it's a really great idea and you can totally decorate it in any way you want it would be really really cool with some really cute Christmas buttons on it but that's just my opinion if you do end up making the little hexy Christmas tree then definitely tag me in your pictures on Instagram and on Facebook I'm at three and three quarters and I'll definitely see it 
definitely see it. I think I should. Sorry if I don't. Ah, it's getting awkward. So I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching today, and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye. Bye.